hey guys what's up so this is continuations of uh, web service testing through postman and we will see some more example like how we can make a post call and get call and how, how we can take data from one call response and we can supply to other call right so before to start this is brief about me i come from a technical background and i have my facebook page and youtube channel so you guys can subscribe my channel and like my facebook page and this is github locations where you will have all my source code now let me open the postman and in last recording what we have seen that how we can get the products based on event id right now if you look at this response so what we have we have all the informations about the product so let me let me do one thing let me sorry i'm trying to hold and drag it they could not so when we have this event id if you look at here uh, we have something called web shop id right for every event what we have is web shop id now we will take this web shop id from here and in the next call here what we want is we want the side chart for that uh, particular web like particular product you want the side chart so this is your get call forget about this response this is just now i have tested this is your get call so you will get you know url like this in your company and you will get till here web shop is equal to so you need to supply the web shop id and which is coming from the previous call from this call because in this call response you have a website ID, web shop id so you can pick up any web shop id so let's say this web shop id i want side chart for this web shop so what I will do, I will supply this web shop is equal to this ID. And this is your endpoint, which, which you'll get it from development team as well as even you'll get it the response what you need to verify. So when you supply your web shop ID and when you make a get call, so click on send. So you'll get a response saying that this is success and this information you'll get about the product. This product conforms to standard size, refers to following size chart, all the information you will get. On the top of it you will get here you know uh, 38 actually it's a size and all the informations regarding this product you will get it here itself so even you can see that the 32 uh, 18 so these are the size which you will get in fact will this this response you'll get as a document where you can cross check whether the response is correct or not apart from that you can see it here you have a cookies so click on the cookies so these are the cookies you have for this call right so sometimes we need to make sure that cookies are correct or not so you can just go through the cookies based on the requirement what you get from the either dev team or uh, from other teams so you can just go through the cookies ones like whether you are getting the right cookies or not now once you have this response click on the body this is like you are getting side chat informations for the particular web shop based on this id now the second call what we have is so let me show you a second call here we want product information so you will get url like this right and this is the id so what is this id so you want product information for that web shop id see for this web shop id this is the side chat which you got here size underscore chat now you want all the information for that uh, web shop so place the web shop id here and this you will get as a endpoint url this is nothing but your server url it's a get call right so when you say click on send what we can see that this is the response which is coming from server this is the web shop id and this is the style code this is the title of your product this is the brand id this is the brand name and this is the category id category label and it has ethnic gear identifier 120 suits it has these are the identifiers as well as we'll also get the descriptions about the product here right so this is the descriptions about the product you'll get in the response and uh, if you scroll down you'll get something called seller excuse this is very important this seller sq will help you to know more about the product so you can verify this seller sq and it also has an event id if you scroll down you know it has a discount percentage of 60 percent 
and it has a max, a max quantity 3 which you can buy and then this is image URL so the image URL is URL is nothing but the URL of the product so generally in e-commerce any product when you go to the product details page it has a lot of images right when we mouse over we see a lot of images or they will be in the sidebar you can see that multiple image for the same product uh, this is the image URL for that product right now when we make a get call for this product we are getting this information this information will get as a document where we can cross check or we can make a DB call we can verify against the DB now from here what we will do is we we'll pick up SQID right so we'll pick up this SQID we'll go to the next call and next call will get you the inventory for the product like for the particular product what is the inventory inventory when we say it means what is the number of quantity particular product has so supply the inventory here and click on send so this is the payload because it's a post call so as you know that post call requires a payload so go to the body click on row click on here adjacent and headers you need to have content application slash json so click on bulk edit and here you can see that application slash json now this body requires only SKU id right so even this payload you will get it from uh, your uh, dev team and you will get this endpoint url for the get inventory so this will give you the inventory based on the SKU id so when you click on send you will get a response and if you look at the response this is the response for success SKU id is this total quantity 3 available quantity 3 max cap 100 right so this information you will get about this product so if you go back the earlier SKU ID which I have just now tested when we click on send we will get total quantity for this product is 81 quantity available 42 quantity block 0 max cap 5 so these are the informations you will get about the product in the response which you can cross check now this API is about get inventory it's a post call based on SKU ID you will get the information about the inventory of the product now the next call if you look at this call is very important this is add product so generally we add the product to the basket right we add the product to the basket to do that what we need to have is this is the payload this is the payload which you have got from the dev team so copy the payload i will do a formatting of the payload so i will do uh, json uh, i'll do json formatter so click on this click on this json formatter paste it here process so this is your payload copy this payload from here come to the postman paste it here so this is your payload you have a device id and this is your product request so product request requires web shop id seller sq id and quantity right now if you come back here so come to the this this call what call uh, okay come to the previous call get inventory uh, your next call requires device ID, product request, web shop ID, and seller SQ. These three informations requires. So come back to the previous call. Here you have a SQ ID. So copy this SQ ID. Come here. Press this SQ ID here. You see the SQ ID. Then what is the web shop ID? So for this product, the web shop ID, uh, you can get it from here. So let's say. Uh, web shop id uh, let me this is the sq id let me take this is the sq id uh, 54 see the sq id for this brief i am taking from the previous call for this sq id uh, this is the web shop id 1692 copy this web shop id from this response paste it here and <coughs> what is the device id so for this sq id now come to a uh, get inventory call supply this sq id send when you send go to the cookies here you have this is called device id so if you go to the cookies you have this token right get this token and this is your device id so place the device id here now i uh, make a send call so when you send right you can look at here you'll get a response saying that response code success card is equal to this this product so it got added so add product means it will add the product to your 
basket and it has base amount this grant amount this payable amount this total payable amount this so these are the information you are getting about added product and uh, quantity too okay and products so these are the products informations this is the brand see the SKU so all the information you will get about your product which you added so if you log into the applications now you know what will happen this product will be added to your basket page which you can see that which means the product which you buy through ui you can buy the same product through this postman also same call right so what i did here in this call is see this from this call i took a web shop id okay from a products call i took a web shop id for the particular product i came to the get inventory and from this web shop id i took a sq id also which we had it here this sq id i came here i supplied this sq id from this sq id what i did i got a response from the response i went to the cookies i took this token so this token i supply here i supply the sq id and the web shop id which i got it from here this is the web shop id 1690 right and i sent a request because i wanted to add the product to my basket so now you can see that the product will be added to the basket so that's how we do web service testing i mean uh, we need to take data from one call and we, do, we need to supply to the other call this is all information you will get from the development team or your manager uh, respective manager whatever it may be they will tell you what api it has what is the endpoint what is the payload if it is a post call there will be a payload like the data which we need to send to the server if it is a get call you will get only endpoint sometimes in the endpoints you need to supply the data which comes from some other call like this what i'm doing here right i'm supplying from some other call see here also it's a post call and this all the data it's coming from some other call so i'm supplying it here right and i'm making a call so that's how you guys can do a testing right and uh, yeah that's what we can do in the web service testing so thank you guys thank you for watching this if you like this video hit like button subscribe my youtube channel thank you once again